This is the world's most expensive burger, fries, and milkshake. Everything in front of me costs a whopping $10,000. But we're starting our day here at McDonald's where we're gonna eat the same exact meal, but off the dollar menu. The dollar menu is hitting an inflation hike. It's crazy. Now it's like $2.69, $3. What's going on here? We're just gonna order a couple things off the dollar menu. Three burgers, three large fries. Do you have milkshakes on there? Can we do three of those too, please? I want M&M's. 10-piece McNuggets too. $46 from the dollar menu? We're eating like kings over here and queens. Let's eat a dollar menu meal. All right, we're at McDonald's. We're going to clear it up a little bit. Actually. What we have here is a $1 meal. The classic milkshake, burger, and fries combo. Later, of course, we're going to have the same meal, but $10,000. So the real question is, which one's going to be the best bang for its buck? Man, we're kind of getting scammed over here. There's no dollar menu. Yeah, I can troll. $46 for this. First things first, double cheeseburger. Classic. I still like that they're sort of wrapped in paper, you know? I think it's fun to open up one of these things. It's great for the environment. I will say, whoever cut those onions did a pretty good job with those knife cuts, huh? Yeah, it's a f***ing robot. Salud. We've all been here before. We've had this. Same everywhere in the world. Wow, would he be? Settled down. For me, it's just the fact that it's nostalgic. I mean, I just feel like everything in this is a well-balanced bite. It ain't broke. Don't fix it. Just raise the price. Let's go for the fries. I will say, they don't look very golden brown to me today. No salt. I'm really let down by the fries at McDonald's today. I feel like the fryer was on a too low of a temperature. On any given day, McDonald's fries, 12 marons. These, they saw us coming and uh, I don't know, they're like six, seven marons. It could be something to do with the fact that we ordered off the dollar menu. Maybe they don't take as much care with making the fries. Substandard. Lindsay, why don't you dive into the milkshake? It's perfect. I used to justify these by saying there was milk in it. Good for your bones. McDonald's, good for your bones. It's basically a salad. So this for me is a meal where if you're hungry, you get a nice little burger all warm, wrapped inside that paper, milkshake, fries, it's good. I feel like you guys don't appreciate the burger as much as I do. It's fake f***ing meat with cheese that's gone nowhere, with pickles that'll have no crunch to it, onions cut by a robot, ketchup, not even tomatoes in there, the bun, a little stale. What the f*** are we eating over here? Nick's in shambles right now. Just destroyed his entire career. Look at that melty cheese on the burger and say it doesn't look good. Tell me you don't want to bite into that right there. All right. Ah, oh, your sister. For me, rating today's dollar menu, the fries were a big letdown. They weren't salty. They weren't crispy. The burger, for me, more than worth it. I think that's pretty clear by now. When it comes to the classic combo of burger, milkshakes, and fries, you got a lot of options. You can come here and get this meal we just had in front of us, or you can go to a pretty standard restaurant and get, let's say, a $25 meal like this, which I would say is pretty good. For a dollar, this is really worth it. With 10 large, where we're going next, it better be top tier. What could that possibly look like is what I want. I'm not gonna speak for all of us, but I saved my appetite. I'm ready to try this classic burger fry shake combo, but for $10,000. But before we do that, I'm gonna take a quick break and enjoy a good middle of the road burger and fries while we talk about today's sponsor, Fortnite. The burger I'm holding here cost me about $10 and the french fries about five. I'd call this a solid middle ground combo meal, but this isn't the only thing I'll be eating during this little break. And that's because Fortnite chapter four season one is out. Honestly, I'm extra excited about this partnership because I've been playing Fortnite with my brothers and friends since my early college days. With this update, they've overhauled the graphics with the power of Unreal Engine 5. I mean, check out the visuals as I make some mores here. The new map is also 30 to 40% smaller, which means faster pacing and more action during battle royale matches. You can also ride on dirt bikes, something my parents never let me do in real life, and even do a little parkour. Not to mention, there are new weapons, and for Chef Nick here, that just means hunting even more chickens. Man, do I love hunting those chickens. And it's also a great way to keep in touch with friends. Just ask my friend Mark, from Canada. Ouais, non, ne faites pas équipe avec Nick sur Fortnite. Il fait juste chasser les poulets tout le match. Mini, one, one guy left. One guy left. Go! Woohoo! Go play the all new Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 1. Download Fortnite by using my link in the description below. Let's go hit the streets again and find the most expensive burger and fries on earth. Okay, so this place we're headed to for our $10,000 meal is called Serendipity. We are here at Serendipity 3 in New York City. It is now home to the most expensive french fries on earth. They also hold records for most expensive dessert, most expensive sandwich, and most expensive milkshake. The meats alone range in price from $40 to $80 a pound. That's $17 you're holding right now. Right. And if you check out their website and scroll down towards the bottom, you'll see they have what's called the Guinness World Records menu. These items must be ordered in advance. Manny, you ordered the items, right? Uh-huh. We'll be getting the world's most expensive burger called Le Burger Extravagant, the world's most expensive French fries, and the Lux Milkshake. Oh, and I added the golden opulent sundae for dessert, because why not? Here it is. This guy's sprinting over here. Slow up, all right? I gotta hold the door for you guys. Oh, thank you. What a clash act. Manny, come on. I 
gotta get this. Can't even open this thing. Oh, this is class. Cause I'm always brushing my hair. Me and my partner bought this place about six years ago. Had to be renovated. We just finished the renovation. It's easy to just knock down a building and do it again. But we have tried to keep everything almost the same. So this is Valen Monroe. Valen Monroe used to come into the restaurant. And the owner would dress it because he was a designer. That's why we have Valen Monroe. The history's amazing. The movie Serendipity was shot here. Where do you find this place? I first came in because of the name. Mm. Serendipity. Wow! Oh my goodness. And this is our golden opulent sundae. World's most expensive french fries. And here we have the world's most expensive burger. This is kind of unbelievable. And here we have our Lux milkshake. And of course with the golden opulence, you gotta eat it with a gold spoon. A gold spoon. Thank you. Thank you. We don't want anything to melt, so we're gonna start with dessert first. This here is called the Golden Opulence Sundae. It comes complete with three scoops of Tahitian vanilla ice cream covered in 23 karat gold leaf, as well as almonds, caviar, and a sugar-forged orchid, which by itself takes eight hours to build. The dish is served in a Baccarat crystal goblet. And as you saw, we all have 18 karat gold spoons. Let's dive in. Yeah, I never had gold before. Not that classy. Oh! Oh! I don't want to make it fall. What do you think? You really think it's creamy, delicious. You're spilling it all over yourself. This guy's embarrassing. It is really good vanilla ice cream. I also like that you can see the vanilla beans. I just got a candied orange peel. It was delicious. There ain't no Willy Wonka sh you know what I mean? I'm also going to eat one of these gold-covered almonds. I love those. Lynn's just spilling on herself, too, by the way. Oh, yeah. I don't know why they're giving me a hard time. You guys are classless. You've never even had gold. Cooch, will you try the uh, dessert caviar? It's not too fishy. First of all, this clearly beats out the McDonald's milkshake that we got. But at the same time, you're noticing that everything from this Sunday is from different parts of the world. And the best. Bruce, can you yeah, make I'll the eat it. Yeah, I'll be the guinea pig. They didn't spend eight hours making the gold orchid for you to just look at it. It's I feel like I'm going to prom. Really delicious. Oh, wow. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put some caviar on the ice cream. Oh, she's got all the tricks, this one. The salty and the sweet is really great. The chocolate sauce is my favorite part of this whole Sunday. Ridiculous. Have you ever had candied orange? That's fire. Like the four figures. I think the gold makes everything taste better. I think from now on, you should just coat all your food that you eat in gold. I think so, too. I say we jump back and have the burger and fries before they get cold. Here we have Le Burger Extravagant. This is made from white truffle butter infused Japanese Wagyu beef, then topped with James Montgomery cheddar cheese, loads of black truffles, and a fried quail egg. Served with a blini, creme fraiche, and caviar. Wow. Diamond encrusted toothpick. That is crazy. That's an actual diamond on top. Yeah. And another orchid. Who's you want to eat it? No, no. I'm going to put it in my hair. There you go. I think Linja should enjoy this little top piece because yeah. Kuj got to the other caviar. That is perfection. Are you throwing salad on there? You don't want the toppings? I mean, you know, when in Rome, I'll do whatever you want to do, but I'm trying to okay. kill my brand. We're going to go split skis on it. Is that okay? I know we didn't have to share at McDonald's because of the dollar menu, but here it's a little bit different. Yeah, I know. And then what I like to call the moment of truth. Anytime a burger looks like this, you know you're in for a treat. Look, it's like your sister. Too far! God! I can't eat a burger if it doesn't have truffles. Salo, let's eat. Oh, wow. A lot of new flavors I never experienced. Right. That A5 Wagyu, it hits. What does it hit? Who knows? The white truffle butter inside the patty itself, that's the best part. Yeah, he knows a ton about food. A lot of flavors going on, that's all we know. A lot of flavors, ton of money, mixed pain, and we're eating. <laughs> While you keep having your burgers, I'm gonna start to talk about these fries, which right off the bat have more truffles than even the burger did. These are made from upstate chipper beck potatoes, Dom Perignon champagne, pure cage-free goose fat from France, shaved black summer truffles from Italy, 23 karat edible gold dust. Lynn just stole the other carrot. There was 24. Lynn just got something in her back pocket. And tons of fancy cheeses in this sauce that I'm not even gonna read off because it's so complex. Of all the smells coming off this table, this for me smells the best. I'm going in for the dunk. Jordan, this ain't no f***ing Idaho potato. It's so good. How does this compare to McDonald's like fries? It's way better. I'll be honest, McDonald's, they got quality fries. I That's agree. Like, let's be real here. Yeah. But these, they're a different level of class, you know? You take a broad here, you get the fries, you impress her, and then your credit card bills the coins. Eating the sauce reminds me of being in Switzerland and seeing that big wheel of raclette. But this is just that in velvety sauce form. Because you're using all these fancy words. What I want to know is, is my gonna be gold or like what's going on there just throwing it out there like ask the chef yeah how does the digestive system work what goes in comes out <laughs> <laughs> so i'll be you know scooping it out of the toilet and a couple of donuts stop it get some help 
Isn't it exquisite? It's so creamy. <laughs> Yo. This is the Lux milkshake. Let's first just show the actual glass this milkshake's coming in. Linja, when have you ever seen a milkshake like that? Back in my day, in the 1930s, they didn't have anything like this. It's made with rich, high-fat Jersey milk from English cows, and then a buttery, clotted cream from Devonshire. That just sounds fancy. Yeah, yeah. that just sounds classy. Fresh Madagascar vanilla beans. The best place in the world for vanilla. Madagascar, huh? I've seen that movie. Yeah, I like to move it! 23 karat edible gold for a little bit of bling. And this is a Swarovski crystal engraved glass. Let's all go together for this one. All right. Here we go. Mmm, that's good. Nice. It's got everything you want and need in a milkshake. Let's just go back in for seconds. Just killing it. Come up for it, will you? <laughs> Oh. That is rich. So the caramel sauce is made with donkey milk. I didn't even know they produce milk. You're learning new things every day. I'm over here drinking <laughs> now. I have new respect for donkeys. I feel like what's been done here is they just took all the best ingredients that are in a regular milkshake and made a normal milkshake out of it so it just tastes that much better. I'm gonna do a little fry dunk action. Is this oh. kosher? Cruz is gonna go back in with the fry dunk, which I still do not condone. I think it's quality, sweet, savory. Hey, don't leave them. Class. Yeah, no, he, he never has no idea what he's talking about. I was on Master Chef for a few episodes, just think he's Gordon Ramsay. Come on, seriously? Do me a favor, throw a like on the video. And hit the subscribe button. I brush my hair everywhere I go.